The name of this exhibit is Above and Beyond. Well, I think it looks amazing. My name is Christian Greer. I'm the Chief Education and Programs Officer here at the St. Louis Science Center. This is about shrinking satellites. That about flying a ship. So this exhibit is called Full Throttle, and you have an interface here that allows you to be able to design and build and fly an aircraft. Drew Moylan. I'm nine years old. It had different maneuverability and speed, and you could adjust it so that you could make it fast or maneuverable. Stand by for the boat. I think it's very important for young people to be introduced to aerospace and flight because they are our future engineers, business leaders, and designers, and visionaries who are going to be thinking about the future of space and space exploration. Isn't this supposed to take people up into space? Look below. My name is I'm Megan Moylan, to... and I am Drew and Claire Moylan's mother. Thank you for riding the International Space Elevator. That was cool. So I'm looking around for things that are going to engage him, and I could tell right away that there was a lot of um, interactive exhibits, and that he would be able to get you know his computer time, his his technology time, but in a more educational manner. It's because I found, even as a mother, that I, pu I might push my boy more towards the science and the technology and the girl in another direction. So I always try to make a conscious decision to bring my daughter to things that, you know, are going to challenge her and um, get her more interested in science and technology. There are approximately 24,000 objects that are larger than your fists that are out in space. And the question is, what do we do about it? How do we clean them up? I think this exhibit, Above and Beyond, will inspire the next generation of aerospace engineers and STEM professionals to help us figure that out. I kind of heard a little bit about there being trash in space, so I kind of wanted to learn more about it. It's something really cool to study about, and if they really want to be interested in this when they grow up and do a lot of engineering like this, it would be a good, good way for them to learn. It seems like being an engineer would be fun.